I do suffer, I suffer. I suffer from blackheads. Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I just uploaded a video where I was doing a collab with my new friend and fellow YouTuber, Moment with Chip, Chip from Moment with Chip. We did a Q&A collab and I had neglected to talk about the skincare products that I used in that video and part of me was just a little overly concerned that the video was going to get rather long so I thought I would do a separate video now. And another shout out to Moment with Chip, go check out her channel, she's awesome. And I will link the collab video above me here right now if you want to go take a look at what I'm talking about. So I know also that you guys love the Fat Fit Fun reviews and it's about time that I did another one and so I wanted to go through what I used in that video and generally do a review on some nighttime skincare products from Fat Fit Fun. And I'm going to start with the Tula. This is the probiotic cleanser that came in the spring 2019 box. I believe it, this was a choice so you could have chosen this one. This was the first product where I had seen probiotics as an ingredient, not only an ingredient, but something that was really highlighted. So I, of course, looked into it and I found an article in Elle and an article in Vogue that were saying that probiotics and skincare are worth it and uh, then it went on to feature some sort of probiotic skincare product. So obviously they were just working with that line to market their stuff. I don't think that probiotics and skincare can be bad at all. I'm sure that they're totally fine, but I wonder how they can help our skin. So I did find an article in Forbes and it is about the doctor that founded this skincare line. This is a quote from the doctor that founded it. In my gastroenterology practice at NYU, I saw that when patients were taking probiotics for a variety of digestive health reasons, they saw changes in their skin as well. Wow. Fair enough. That is Dr. Roshini Raj, Associate Professor of Medicine at the NYU School of Medicine. It was a rare aha moment. About four years ago, we started seeing robust research on probiotics and overall skin health. So that's why Dr. Raj co-founded Tula, a probiotic skincare line that she helped develop. Appropriately, Tula means balance in Sanskrit. I buy it. I'm going to continue to learn about the probiotics and skincare, but so far it seems like it has a place in skincare. Moving on to the other ingredients in here. I recently started to try to avoid pegs, which I will put a link uh, to a brief article explaining what those are and why they are toxic to our systems in my description box below. And this has a peg in it and it is high up there on the ingredients list. Oh, there's another one, it has two. And then there is another ingredient in here that I do know if you have hypersensitive skin, it can be an irritant, er, an irritant for you. It's a particular preservative ingredient that I cannot pronounce. Methylzoxazolinone. Otherwise, so those are some uh, concerns about the ingredients if you are interested in that information. And then otherwise, I think that it smells lovely. It has a nice fresh scent. I will be using the whole thing up. Those um, ingredients aren't total deal, deal breakers for me at this point in my skincare regimen. I, I think that this, this brand seems really interesting and you now I'm getting two things from them in my spring edit sale box. My box hasn't shipped yet. Some people have and some people have actually gotten their products already and I stay away from the forum in between sales because I don't want to constantly be thinking about when my box is gonna ship because I would be and I would be overly excited and impatient and wanting to get it right away but you know what, I'll get it when I get it and I'm not gonna look. That is the first thing I use in my skincare routine. I'm gonna talk about this cleanser, this is an empty. I finished this a couple weeks ago and I've been meaning to talk about it in a video and this is the Grown Alchemist Bergamot and Rosebud, the Geranium Leaf Bergamot Rosebud Gentle Facial Cleanser. I wanted to like this more than I did. It's a gel cleanser. It was a little bit too drying for me, but I have very dry skin, so I think it would be fine for most skin types. Yeah, I wanted to like the smell more than I do. It smells like ro it smells it smells as described. I think what it is for me is I try to like floral scents more than I do because my husband loves floral scents and he actually he liked the smell of this one. It's too much for me it, and it was just a little bit strong. I wanted to also talk about this exfoliant. This is the 
Grown uh, Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant. Another Grown Alchemist product. This one is Pink Grapefruit Glucomanon Extract, which I learned Glucomanon is the konjac, uh, the same thing, uh, which is a root of a plant that is used in skincare. So it's a botanical ingredient. Anyway, so I have raved about this exfoliant and I went on to the FabFitFun Facebook group and I found one and I purchased it for $20 and that whole process went really smooth. I highly recommend that you join the FabFitFun Facebook group if you can. And I got this and I was so excited and this tube while it smells nice and it's absolutely lovely, had I gotten this tube, I wouldn't have raved as much about the smell. It smells quite different. It's similar, but it's it's different and it's still nice, but I wouldn't have given it as a glowing a review, which is interesting because I had somebody leave a comment on a Grown Alchemist video that I had done a long time ago about this, and she said hers smelled like stale bread, I think, and I remember thinking, well, that's really weird. Mine smells nothing like that, and so now I can kind of see where that would happen. I think it is also a testament to the fact that it's really, really natural and perhaps it doesn't mix as evenly all the time. I'm very excited to have this, but I'm not dying to get another tube after this one. So that's interesting. In the video, this isn't FabFitFun. This came from my Petaver box and this is a seaweed toner by a company whose name is Shamanuti. And this, if you saw that video, my initial reaction was that this smells like tortillas. And I stand by that comment. I said that when I was pregnant. I'm no longer pre Well, I could be pregnant. I'm not sure. I don't know yet. I stand by that. It smells like tortillas. And I'm starting to appreciate toners a little bit more. I had said before that I didn't really see a point in toners, but I, I think that I can see a place for them now. I had never really used them, but everyone uses them, so I, I really wanted to figure out why they're, why they're necessary. It, it smells like tortillas, which it's not a bad smell. It's kind of out of place. So I'm using this. This is from Pediver. I'm not anxious to use it uh, again after I use this up. And I often forget that I even have it. The next one that I used was this Paula's Choice astringent. And people were really excited to see Paula's Choice stuff in the sale that I got this in. This was the winter edit sale. I like it. There's something about when I use this, and the ingredients are excellent, and Paula's Choice is cruelty free, all that. There's something when I use it that's oddly moisturizing. I haven't looked into what ingredient that could be. But I don't particularly like the way it feels. I feel like with an astringent I really want to feel extra extra clean. It's really getting to the grime on my face and it doesn't feel like that and I'm not seeing so far any kind of change in my pores. I do suffer. I suffer. I suffer from blackheads. I do struggle with blackheads um, and I'm not seeing any kind of improvement. I also can't use a salicylic acid as often as they want me to use this one. So for me, this product, I will continue to use it. I will use it up. I doubt that I will pursue buying it again ever or even think much of it. I will update you if that changes. <laughs> the next thing that I used is this Hyaluron Skin Essence. And this is a, a step in a Korean beauty routine, which is a 10 step Korean beauty routine. And I've talked about that in a video before. This is like step number four. This is a little bit thicker than water and you put it on your in your hand, you rub it around and then you pat it onto your face. The main active ingredient in this is hyaluronic acid and who doesn't love a good dose of hyaluronic acid and it feels really nice and it's as long as I have this, this is all the hyaluronic acid that I need. I really like this. It's excellent. I'm, I'm really enjoying using this. The purpose of hyaluronic acid is to attract and trap moisture into our skin. And the next thing that I used is another Grown Alchemist product, and this is Grown Alchemist Brightening Serum Phytopeptide, no, Brightening Serum Phyto Complex Rumex Leaf Extract. And I like this, I enjoy using this, but can you see, yeah, you can kind of see how much is gone there. I've been using this at night for maybe two, three weeks, and I guess that's not that crazy. That means that this will last me about six weeks probably, but I feel like I am powering through this. And it says it's highly efficacious, which means it's highly effective. 
and I don't know that I'm seeing any difference in my dark spots or in my skin brightness. And this was $24 in the FabFitFun sale and it retails for something like $70. I think a little bit more. I think it might be 79. I'm gonna say save your money on this one. This one is a Super Mood Ego Boost One Minute Faceless Serum. And this is a Finnish uh, company, Super Mood. And I, I had gotten one and then I felt like replacing it. This was when I was first joining FabFitFun. And I actually do think this does something for me. There's something about it that really tightens up my skin but in a good way like not in like oh man it's drying me out and it feels so tight and uncomfortable but it really seems to do something to tighten up my skin whether or not it's a permanent thing that it's doing or if it's just in that moment it, it's it's definitely fooling me this is my second bottle I am not going to be pursuing replacing it after this but I did enjoy this I did have a, a fun time using this product partially because it was one of my very first new high-end products from FabFitFun. The eye cream that I've been using is the Terra Mare Pomegranate and Evening Primrose, Primrose Eye Cream. I've talked about a lot of these products a lot already. Uh, however, I did that video and I didn't talk about the stuff I was using in the video, so I thought I would go ahead and put this video together. And I've, I've talked about Terra Mare, and Terra Mare is an, a lovely, lovely organic vegan high-end skincare line that you can get some products of theirs in the FabFitFun sales and try them out. This eye cream, I have been using it for a few months, I want to say, and look at it, it's maybe a third of the way gone. So I am really, it's it's definitely worth the money with how much it, how long this is lasting. I really like this eye cream, and I've talked about this so many times in my videos. It's the Dermalect Self Esteem Neck Firming Neck Lift, or Self Esteem for Neck Firming Lift, that's what it's called. This has parabens, it has pegs, it has a formaldehyde releaser. I will not be using this again, however, this has made such a difference in my saggy neck skin and I am sad to have learned all the terrible ingredients that are in it and Dermalect definitely is not one to shy away from bad for you ingredients. And then this is the May Love Night Renewer Glycolic Acid Cream. I have been able to work my way up to using this on a daily basis. I think that it feels really, really excellent going onto the skin. The ingredients are really simple and straightforward. May Love was founded by some graduates from MIT and they wanted to make an affordable, simple skincare line. I believe it's based out of San Francisco. Uh, and yeah, oh, yeah, San Francisco. So it is uh, excellent. Do I see a difference? I think that I see a difference in my skin overall. So it's a little bit hard to point to one thing and say, yeah that's made a difference. That said, I think that this is an excellent glycolic acid cream for many reasons uh, that I just mentioned. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about, or just make another mention, is this marula oil. This is the last thing that I used in that video, the collab video that I made with Chip, and I've talked about it before, and I am loving it. It feels amazing, and again, if you missed it, look at this, look at the way this packaging is. So, when you open it, that pops up, and in popping up, it draws the product into the dropper, which excites me more than it should. Thank you for watching. Think about subscribing if you haven't already, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye!